Police found Shadid's car about 10 minutes away from where one of his close friends lives, so he did have some connection to this area. The question is, did he drive it there or was it stolen and this was just a coincidence? All of his friends and family, they say that this behavior is not normal for him and they do find it very concerning. They just wish that investigators could do more. 27-year-old Jared Shadid has been listed as a missing person for 19 days now. This morning, Los Angeles police found his car, but where's Shadid? It's me wondering if he's here. Truly, like, what made him leave his car? Um, what brought him to L.A.? First, we were like, oh, he's in Seattle, and now, surprisingly, his car was left 10 minutes away from my house. Investigators believe Shadid's Volkswagen SUV was parked at a neighborhood near downtown L.A. around August 4th with the keys inside. It even has a parking ticket on the dash because it hasn't moved for several days. There's so many different things that are happening in my head where I'm like, is he okay? Um, is he still in L.A.? Did he decide to go to San Diego somewhere? It's just everything is moving so quickly. Shadid's closest friends and family have been left with nothing but questions and anxiety since his disappearance. A lot of questions. And just where is he now? It's been 19 days. Fox 13 got this exclusive video of the last time anyone's seen Shadid. Here you can see him checking into his Airbnb on Capitol Hill, then bringing his belongings inside. Shadid left everything inside this rental, his luggage, laptop, and his cell phone. Scary, and we're just like, that's not our friend, and we need to save him right now. Shadid was working his dream job in Washington, D.C. as an immigration attorney. His family says he recently quit his job and took off on a road trip that brought him to Seattle. Shadid's loved ones express frustration when talking about Seattle police leading the search. We've done the prelim preliminary work. We want you guys to do the real investigative work. And luckily, we do have some kind people behind us. But if we can apply some extra pressure and see that this is not just him choosing to be missing, this is him spiraling into a place that we don't know is going to happen. Family and friends have been working with a private detective as well. They say they hope LA police will take over the investigation instead. But for now, they just hope for the best. I'd love to see you guys treat this case as a critically missing person because his behavior is not it's not normal and it's not sane. Shadid's car now has a note from his support system saying in part, please come home. You are not alone. Even with the discovery of the car in L.A., part of the frustration for Shadid's family and friends is they just don't know for sure that he was the one who drove it there. LAPD is asking neighbors around that area to send in any home surveillance footage that could confirm it, but nothing yet so far. In Seattle, I'm Nikki Torres, Fox 13 News.